All right, so quick video. I have like five minutes before all the resources on my system fail me. All right, so we're doing a quick lab for, I'm actually redoing a lab for screen share. I'm leveraging a lab that I got from a cyber defensive initiative last week. So I'm running VMware with Kali Linux and a Windows 10 target. We're gonna use the Metasploit framework for this lab, I pre-staged a few things in the interest of time. All right, so let's go. Let get logged in the cat. All right, so I already gathered my IPs. I'm gonna use, so we're gonna use MS Venom to create a package, and actually already staged that again in the interest of time. So. MSF Venom payload's gonna be Windows Meta Meta Meterpreter. Oh jeez, the accent's coming out, isn't it? Meterpreter, reverse TCP, localhost 192.168.159.128. Then we're gonna go ahead and use port 5555. The file type's gonna be an executable. I created a share between my uh, Kali box and the Windows 10 box, and the share is at that location. So once I execute that, it's gonna create a raw payload. There's no encoding or anything involved in this. And let's navigate to the share. How are we doing on time? One minute, 52 seconds. All right, so the share, let's make sure it's there. Share is here. Okay, so the file's over on the Windows 10 box. I rolled back the security configurations for the Windows 10 box. I'm using B control to keep Windows Defender disabled. Instead of having it automatically turn back on. Okay, great. So now that we already have that staged, let's run. MSF console. I'm going to use multi handler for the exploit. Two minutes and forty five seconds. Come on, come on. Okay, great. Should I already have set? No, nothing's set. All right, so let's go. So we're going to use exploit multi handler. Okay. All right, so no, we need to set a payload. I thought I had this stage, but apparently not. Interpreter, reverse, TCP, want to set local host. Nine two one six eight one five nine one two eight. We're gonna set our local port. Five 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 five. Uh, let's check all our configs, and I just type SETI. Alright, so looks good. We're gonna say exploit. So we start a reverse TCP handler. Let's go over to Windows 10 box. Coming up on time. We're gonna run that. In the Kali box, you see the session there. We're going to do a sanity check. It says info, so I'm confirmed to be on a Windows 10 machine. In case if I were a bad guy, I want to find out if there's anybody in front of the box. You know, I don't want to visually alert them to the fact that I'm on it. So you can do idle time to check that. Uh, you know what? Let's also set my local directory so that when I run this screen share. goes to my desktop and now we're gonna run the screen share
All right, great. So what you're seeing now is a screen share of the Windows 10 box. And let's do a proof of concept. We're gonna minimize. And let's go over to the Kali box to see if it actually worked. And yep, it's minimized. And just in case, one more time, let's close this out. And as you can see, so you're not able to interact with the box, but you're able to watch what's going on on the screen. There are always to initiate the interaction, but that'd probably be for a later video. Anyway, that was using the Metasploit framework, which is included as a part of the Kali Linux operating system to uh, execute a screen share. All right, have a good day.